Hello friend and welcome back to my channel. B here from Top Flight Equestrian and I'm going to walk you through how to find a good lesson barn and what questions you should ask to make sure it's going to be a good safe fit for you or your child. Step one is finding the right spot. I recommend asking a friend that you know who already rides about if they have any information or any suggestions. But if you don't know anyone who rides currently, asking a group on Facebook can be very helpful. It doesn't have to be an equine specific group. It can be something like your neighborhood group and you can just throw out there if anyone has any suggestions. An equine specific group is helpful too because you will probably get even more suggestions through there. But honestly, just throwing it out there asking for recommendations on Facebook is a great way. Many programs do have an online presence. A Google search is also helpful and you can read the reviews as well. Things you wanna watch out for in the reviews are, are the students having fun? Is safety a number one priority? And are the students progressing? One thing I do recommend people do is find barns that are 30 minutes or less from their house. If it gets more than 30 minutes away, it's just not gonna be sustainable. So 30 minutes or less really helps for going weekly out to that barn. Okay, so you've narrowed it down to a couple places that you think are gonna work for you. Next thing you wanna do is reach out to those farms and ask a couple questions. So just a heads up, if you reach out to a farm and they don't get back to you in a timely manner, reach back out a couple times. Horses take a lot of time and energy and the farm owners aren't always the most timely at getting back to people. But if you have reached out a couple times and then have not heard from them, then move on. Also, likes are free, so if you don't mind hitting the like button and the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you wanna see more of this content. Things you're going to want to ask the farm owner or instructor once you have them on the phone or type this up in an email. I like to ask just basic questions at this point. We'll ask more once we go out and see the farm. So basic questions are how much are the lessons? Can you afford this barn? Maybe they're a really high-end show barn and they charge like it and that's not exactly what you're looking for. How long do they last? So this will just give you an idea if the lessons are one to two hours long, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Maybe you're looking for something a little more or less. Do you offer private and group lessons? And if you offer group lessons, how many students are there in the group? Maybe they only offer group lessons. And I always recommend beginners get private lessons to start. If private lessons are not an option, it's not the end of the world if it's a group lesson, but it's highly preferred for private lessons. Do you need to have your own equipment on lesson one? How much upfront cost are there going to be? Some farms let you borrow their helmets and their boots for the first month or so. Other farms want you to have all that equipment on day one. Okay, next thing is to actually go visit the barns and do a farm tour. Preferably, this will be when the instructor is going to teach a lesson. Always make sure that you don't just show up unannounced. Always make an appointment with the instructor or the farm owner as their days are really busy and dropping everything to talk to someone doesn't always fit into their day, especially if they've got lessons that are scheduled. So make sure you always make an appointment first before coming out. Okay, you show up at the barn and just take a look around. As you're driving in, what does the barn look like? Does it look run down? If the barn looks run down and they don't have money for repairs, they probably aren't gonna have money to be paying their employees or feeding their horses or maintaining the tax. So that's really important. It's just the overall ambiance of the farm. Does it look well taken care of? Other thing you're looking for is, is there an enclosed riding arena? For beginners, it's really important that there is a fenced off area for you to learn in. Preferably a smaller area called a round pen. That is ideal, but not all farms have round pins, so a bigger arena is totally fine as long as it is enclosed. Do the horses look healthy? Who wants to ride a neglected horse? So do the horse's coats look good? Can you see their ribs at all? Do they look nice and fat and happy? So just kind of just glance over the horses and just see, do they look healthy? If you're able to see some people riding, are they wearing helmets? Not all farms enforce helmets, but most enforce them 18 and under. And I always highly recommend anyone who gets on a horse wears a helmet. After you have your initial assessment of the farm, you should now be meeting the instructor or the farm owner to ask a couple questions and for them to show you around the barn. Things to ask when they're showing you around are how long have you had your lesson horses? This helps to determine the longevity of the program. Horses don't last forever, but you want a place that has many trusty, proven, and safe steeds. How long have you been teaching others to ride? 
This will give you an idea if they've had the time to perfect the art of teaching and if they've seen enough to help you overcome obstacles in your learning. Do you compete in any shows or take students to shows? This is important if it's something you want to do in the future. What's your specialty? See if this is something that sounds appealing to you. If you're talking to a Western trainer but really want to do English, then that won't work long term. Are you first aid and CPR certified? Do you have any certifications or credentials? Certification is not a deal breaker, but it certainly helps to ascertain if an instructor knows what they are doing. How are the lessons run? Are they run where the horses are tacked up for the students? Or do you get to learn horsemanship as well as riding where you get to learn how to take care of the horses too? Once you get those answers and they seem satisfactory, see if you can hang out and watch a lesson. You can learn a lot of the instructor's teaching style and how well behaved the horses are just by observing. One of the most important things you wanna look out for during the lesson is are the students having fun? I mean, this is supposed to be fun. So if kids are crying and the ponies are running away from them, maybe this isn't the best barn for you. Now, no lesson is going to go 100% perfect. Everyone's going to have bad days. Horses are animals and they have their own ideas. But for the most part, it should look like an overall success for the student. Second thing is how does the instructor overcome challenges? Are they patient and good at what they do? How is their tone in the lesson? Is the instructor fostering a good learning environment or are they just degrading and yelling at the students? Things like that will give you a good idea on if their teaching style is right for you. Overall, it should be an encouraging and learning environment with constructive criticism. Not saying they have to sugarcoat everything, but it should be presented in a way that the student learns from their mistake. If all those things seem satisfactory, it's time to schedule your first lesson. Make sure you can schedule it when you're not frazzled from work that day or coming in hot from school, that you have the time to get to the barn and be relaxed. Horses pick up on a lot of emotional energy, so you want to be in a state where you can be calm, cool, and collected and ready to learn. I highly recommend starting once a week lessons for the first four to six months. And then if you want to take your riding to the next level, you should start to schedule more riding time. Once a week equates to just 52 times a year of riding. That's 52 hours a year. That's not a whole lot. So in the beginning, totally fine to start taking it slow, but once you realize that this is something you wanna do, the more time in the saddle, the better. And tell me what you think. Do you think there's other things that need to be asked that I missed? Feel free to drop a comment below. And keep the learning going by watching this next video for all things equine. Cheers.